for one of the next projects bought a five inch fence post I'm gonna add a bit of storage for you know that pipe there that uh, showed you in the earlier video because the other storage down below uh, already has a pipe in it and I want to keep that one in case we need a little extender I can connect to that Y piece and then extend to a dump station. So my plan is, plan is to put it back here. Uh, I'm gonna attach it to the bumper supports. Uh, I'm gonna go underneath, I believe. So the plan is to use this 5 16 threaded rod, flat washer, lock washer, a couple nuts on top. And I also have a uh, flat punched bar That'll go underneath that I'll secure this to that then we'll hold this in place. That should do the trick. I was trying to come up with an idea for the end cap. Uh, I was looking at a clevis pin type scenario to keep the a cap on and I couldn't find a clevis pin that was long enough to fit this. So what I did, I still ended up buying you know, this cap here. cap that goes with it, end cap for a post. And then I had a landscaping stake. I cut the tip off of it, and this will actually fit down in here, and it will go all the way through. Uh, and then I will drill a hole through the tip of this, and then stick my uh, pen in from there. And that will secure the cap on. Next step's gonna be to Remove the tire off the back, and then I'm going to use a little Velcro on each side. But I can actually place it up on top. Uh, originally, I thought I was going to have to mount it below, but I can mount it on top. So I'm going to put some Velcro up there, and then I have some other straps that will strap it around those. So I made uh, some protective, little protective wedges, as you'd say, out of uh, some high dense styrofoam, little uh, Velcro on the back of it. And basically I'm gonna put it at three different points. One here. And so I'm gonna put that on there. And grab another one. This next one, it's gonna go down here. Basically put these on there uh, and then you know, put this back on. Like I said, there's Velcro down here on the back side. This will help hold and then wrap a strap around each side. Then put the tire back on that will help hold it and secure it in place. Here it is, all strapped on now, tires back on. Got the uh, little brace supports back there that are Velcroed to the camper. In piece now, I'm gonna show you how I uh, put the pipes in there, show you what I learned on that step. Earlier in the video, I was showing I was gonna use threaded rod uh, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to fit it behind the the, uh, the tire there. And so I thought it was just going to have to be placed, you know, up underneath here. But I managed to take the tire off, checked it out, and could get it to work. So I just changed my mind, figured out a different way. That's what I was showing you earlier with the Velcro. And then just used the straps. I mean, it's that tire's leaning up against it. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it's it's locked in place so seems to be working pretty good and now I'll show you uh, show you how I put the pipes in and the, and the storage part of it here I want to show you the kind of the finished product and installing the pipe into it I also wanted to give you a little tip about the pipe so like I said earlier in the 
one of the other videos about uh, this product, the Rhino Extreme. It comes with the caps. And a little tip there I found was don't put the cap, you know, don't twist it all the way on. Because these things seal up really well. And when I was trying to put them in there, they they won't stay in. They can't compress enough. So you gotta leave and just just kind of leave a little little bit of uh, space there so the air can get out. First one in. And also to get it to work, I put the two flatter ends back to back so it doesn't take up as much space. So you might be able to hear it, the air is coming out of the one inside there. And the other item, because you know these two they compress, they want to pop back out. Uh, what I did was I, I made this other hole back here that I can still hold on to the pipe. Put that down and then it holds it in place. Put the lid on. I can add my pins. There you go, pipe storage solved.